Hey everybody! So I wanted to share with you guys my favorite products for 2011. Um, since I'm going to do like a yearly favorites, I'm not going to do a month of December. And really the only thing that stuck out in the month of December was my Naked 2 palette. So that's pretty much going to be my list for December favorites, Naked 2. So if you didn't get it on UrbanDecay.com, you can now get it there, Sephora.com. And at the end of this month, you'll be able to get it in store at Sephora. Get your hands on this. I love this palette. So... We'll just get right into my favorites for the year. Um, I'll just start off on like other like products, not just makeup. So for my fake bake, my favorite tanning product is the Norvell Amber Sun Sunless Tanning Mousse. And this is in the dark bronze. I love this stuff. It's awesome. It goes on, doesn't streak. You want to make sure you wash your hands immediately. They also sell a, like a mitt that has um, the sunless tan in it too. And what I did is I used that mitt for a touch up, but I held on to it when it was done. And then I'll just apply the mousse to the mitt and smooth on the tan so that way it doesn't get on my hands. But I love this stuff. It is awesome and it's kept me nice and tan all throughout the winter. So get some Norvell if you, you know, are trying to keep up on your tan. My favorite dry shampoo is the Kenra Platinum Color Care Dry Shampoo. Refresh and revive. This stuff smells like coconut. It is amazing. I've never tried any other dry shampoos. I picked this up because um, my hairdresser, she was telling me how it's not, you know, obviously it's healthier to not wash your hair every single day. Um, obviously I knew that, but my hair gets really greasy and I hate having to put it up on day, day two and three. So what she said to do was just like day th day two to spray this in my hair, work it through, straighten it, you know, and style how I normally style it. And it's just kept my hair, you know, really nice and shiny, um, but not, you know, dull looking and doesn't look powdery. So I love this dry shampoo. For a night treatment, I love the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Overnight Hair Rescue repair while you sleep. This is just a sample size of it and this stuff is really really good. I love the Alterna Caviar line. It's just kind of, it's really expensive. So I picked this up in a little kit that I got earlier in the year and I use this sparingly. You really only need like a pea size amount, especially for my hair. I have really, I have a lot of hair. It's just very fine. So I really only need to work it on the ends and this works very well. My hair has grown a lot. So I'm trying to grow it out. The last time I cut it, I cut it really short, and it's taken like two years, maybe even longer, to get this long. So my hair grows really, really slow. Um, staying with the hair trend, my Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This stuff, I've done two videos on the Macadamia Natural Oil Collection. Their stuff is awesome. Shampoo and conditioner, love it, use it all the time. And their oil also has made my 2011 list. This stuff, I honestly, if I could put their whole line on this list, I would. Their shampoo and conditioner, their deep repair mask, the oil. They also have a spray oil. I love their products. Love macadamia. For makeup remover, um, as you guys can see, is the L'Oreal Eye Makeup Remover. This is the green bottle, and it, re it helps replenish lashes. Um, or I'm sorry, it conditions lashes. So it helps your lashes grow. It really has helped me because um, really all you have to do is put this on a cotton pad, set it on my eyes, and then just wipe. And so it keeps me from like rubbing my eyelashes and them all falling out. So this I really, really love. I've gone through a ton of bottles of them. So for skincare, I really like my Clarisonic Mia and my Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. This stuff is awesome, and paired up with the Mia, use it every day, and it really has, it's changed my skin. I am prone to breakouts, and my skin is really sensitive, especially when trying like different foundations and just different face products in general. I always break out. This has really helped me. I use this every night. I love the sensation of the Clarisonic Mia with this instead of just using it on like a washcloth, because it really just polishes my skin and makes it feel soft and just glowy. I love this. So these two together are amazing products. I love them. 
My favorite like nail treatment is my Nail Life Nail Revitalizer. You can pick this up at Sally's. And this you can just put on your nails every day. You can also use it as a base coat. But if you apply one coat every day, it'll help your nails grow. And I used to wear acrylics like in high school. And obviously they got expensive when I started having to pay them when I graduated. And my nails, since I couldn't get them done, my nails were just very brittle and thin. They were breaking, peeling, and I couldn't get them to grow. They don't really grow now. It's taken a while for them to even get healthy like this. And I attribute all of that to this nail life. It really totally turned, you know, did a 180 on my nails and made them healthy again. And I get compliments on my nails all the time. As far as fragrances go, I am loving the Daisy, or uh, the Marc Jacobs Daisy Osa oh Fresh. I picked this up, or I got it actually for Easter. I got it as an Easter gift. I wore it all spring, all summer. It just smells amazing. I love this. I can't wait till it gets warmer here. It's actually cold now in Florida, and I can't wait till it gets warmer and I can start wearing this again. I've also loved my Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. I got this little bottle for Christmas, but all year I was getting tons and tons and tons of samples from Sephora. I, I seriously, every time I was in Sephora, I picked up two samples of the Victor and Rolf. It smells so good. It's a little heavier scent, so definitely you know get a sample of it, try it out, see how it works with your body chemistry, because the scent does change once um, on your skin. For nail polish, I have Butter London Big Smoke, Zoya Nika, for Essie Neo Whimsical. Jam and Jelly, Splash of Grenadine, Smooth Sailing, <clears throat> Hot as Hello, Vandigo. For OPI we have Teenage Dream. Crown me already. Swimsuit nailed it. Skull and gloss bones. Lucky Lucky Lavender. Overexposed in South Beach. Okay, into the makeup. Bronzer is my MAC Refined Golden. My Dior Bronzer in Original Tan Sun Minerals Honey Tan. For setting powder, Mylorock Porefection. And my Clinique Super Balance Powder SPF, and it's just the grind top. For concealer, my Garnier Skin Renew Anti Dark Circle Roller, and my Hourglass Concealer Hidden Concealer in Pearl. For foundation, I love my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus and Clinique Acne Solutions. For my favorite brushes, I have my Makeup Forever Kabuki Brush, my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. I love this for foundation. For concealer, my Sonia Kushak or Sonia Kashuk, um, just a domed foundation brush, my, toki my Toki Doki fluffy crease brush, my Sigma E45 tapered brush, love this, and then my MAC 234 which is the um, duo fiber eyeshadow shader. For eyelashes, I have my MAC 
number 33s and MAC number 7. And number 7 I wear all the time. Wore those on New Year's. For eyeshadow bases, I love my MAC Girl Friendly Paint Pot. my MAC Black Ground Paint Pot and my Stila Smudge Pot in Bronze. For eyeshadow, I have a ton of eyeshadow. I loved my MAC Hocus Pocus. I'll just do all my MAC. The, this little quad I put together, we have Dazzle Light Smoke and Diamonds. This is Style Snob. And this here is Signed Sealed. For my, pretty much loved my neutral palette. Um, but my favorites I would have to say are Mulch, Tempting, this one here, which I believe is yep, Patina, and this here, Woodwinked. Love that. But pretty much my whole brown palette. And then, of course, no list would be complete without the Naked palette, the original Naked palette. I love this. It went with me everywhere. I went to Dallas, New York twice. Um, Fort Lauderdale, Alabama, Chicago, everywhere I went, this came with me. I love this palette. Mm. Love it. Blush is Max Hypnus. Dolly Mix. Prim and Proper. Feeling Flush. The Stereo Rose MSF as a blush, too, and I love it. So pretty. For mascara is Tarte Gifted. I don't know why I'm like... And uh, Ultra Flush Panthera, and then my Fairy Drops uh, Scandal Queen mascaras. I love them. They're, I use all of them, actually. I'll use these two together on my top lashes and then the ultra flush on my bottom lashes. For eyeliners, MAC Feline, which is a black, the best black ever, MAC Blues, and Russian Black from MAC, and then Stila's Eye Cajal and Sapphire. For brow products, I have my Anastasia. This is the Brow Wiz in the color medium ash and it just it has the wind up pencil on one end and then it has the little spoolie on the other. I also love this brow highlighter from Anastasia. It's two sided. On one side it's chamomile and then the other side is sand. Sand is like a really pretty champagne and then the chamomile is just a matte white to highlight. I love that. And then the blink eyebrow mousse in the color dark blonde and this stuff just holds your lashes and I really really like it sometimes if I don't want to draw like I have to fill mine in because I mean they're there but I just have sparse spots so sometimes I'll just put this there and that's really nice too and that's all for eyes getting into lips my two favorite lip treat lip treatments are the fresh sugar and plum and I also love the rose and I don't know where mine is I can't find it and then the Corez or the Corez or Cores, however you want to say, lip butter glaze in jasmine. And I also love my pot, but I really like this tube a lot better. And then getting into, we'll start with lip liners first. They're all MAC, and we have In Sync, Subculture, and Boldly Bare, and Life's a Breeze. For lipsticks, I have Buxom in New Orleans. This is Acapulco. For sticking with lipstick, Benefit Rush Hour. For MAC, I have Lazy Days. 
got a dash. And then this is Gem of Roses. And I have two YSL. This is the Rouge Pure Couture and number 24. I think it's in Petrus Beige. And this is the Rouge Volupt and number 8. And this is Pink Lingerie. So in Petrus Beige, Pink Lingerie. And then, I'm uh, sorry, I can't think. My desk is so just cluttered with product right now. For lip glosses, I have MAC Boy Bait, MAC Money Honey. This is a Dazzle Glass. I also have my MAC Lip Jelly and Valentine's. I loved the Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Naked. And then my two favorite buxom ones for the year were Debbie and this small one in Tara. Okay. So those are my favorite products for the year 2011. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you recorded a video, definitely leave that in the video response below. I would love to check that out. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh my gosh. I love my Clarisonic Mia that I have. I use this. Ooh, I should go get that. Let me go grab that. It's still wet from the shower. Oh my god. I'm going to have an anxiety attack. There's way too much stuff on my desk. I'm going to hurry up and finish this. Okay, so, oh, what the hell? What did I get all over? So, of course, I loved my Naked 2 palette, but I don't think it's fair to include that in the list, although I love it, so of course I'm going to... I, I should put it on the list, maybe, I don't know. I love this palette. It's the bomb. Hello?